What is going on, guys? Today I'm using some Maya uh, 2013, but the one I'm going to show you is going to work 2014 as well. But yeah, I'm using Maya today. Any of you who are subscribed to me for Blender, I apologize. If you do want me to do something for Blender, leave a comment and I will respond with a video to help you out. Anyways, um, so today I want to show you how to do some simple lighting in Maya. So basically, I'm going to show you how to turn this into ooh, into this it's a bit bright but have real-time shadows and have a lot better lighting system but yeah overall turn that into that if i change the angle a little bit you might oh god you might be able to um see a little bit better all right yeah so you to get a proper lighting system and to just basically make your models look a lot, a lot nicer when you render them okay so i'm very new to Maya, so there may be other methods to do this a bit faster or a bit be better, but this is how I noticed it. So basically, start a new scene. You'll already have a new scene. Put your floor in. You can put that setting on if you really want, so that way um, you can see your objects rather than just see the wireframe. Get your object that you want to render. Let's go cube, and let's actually do something like a sphere. So that way the lighting looks a little bit different. A sphere, a cylinder, I mean. Okay, so we've got our two items. Yep, they look fine. If I take a picture now, it will just look like that. No lighting and very, very basic shading, just very block shaded. Okay, so now let's move on from there. And basically, when you first load up your program, you will not have this option, Mental Ray. You will not have Mental Ray there. You might, if you're lucky, but usually it's disabled when you first get the program. So basically, go Window, go Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager. You will start at the top, scroll down, and Maya tomar.mml turn these on so they'll look like unticked tick them both okay now if i take an image nothing still will happen just to warn you guys okay so click on that setting there to get these settings up now turn that to mental ray and get all these extra options nothing really needs to be changed here except maybe the resolution turn it to um full hd or whatever your resolution your screen is and that should be completely fine don't I don't I'm not really going to go into detail of any of the other options, but to go straight to indirect lighting, physical sun and sky. Click create. Now, as soon as I do that, that will put on final gathering. What final gathering does is add lighting to the entire scene, and also when you click um, physical sun and sky, you'll get this spawn in the center. If I had nothing on my um, screen at Mofa, didn't put any meshes in, you would see that but it basically spawns in the center of the environment so you click that from underneath as i can because i can't do it because the cube's in the way but click it from underneath drag it to the angle you want doesn't really matter if it's inside anything because it's just acts like a sunlight and i want it to be at an angle like that okay yep so that comes straight in that's going to leave a shadow coming across here now, if I take a render now, like if I just go preview of my last one, it looks like that. I've changed the resolution and the environmental lighting since then, so it should give it all the lighting effects you want. There you go. That gives you very basic lighting effects, and it makes your environment just generally look better. If you want to change the settings, you can click on the sunlight, change your stuff here. Like if I wanted to make the sun orange and a bit weaker, for example. It won't do much of an effect because the environment lighting as well, but if I were to turn the environment lighting down as well, like, let's turn that down really dark. I think that's the setting. Here you go, turn it down, you can see a bit more of an orange effect because of the light up here, but you could mess around with these settings too to make the um, environment lighting orange or whatever color you want. And also if you um, go physical sun and sky and click that little box here, get all these settings up and basically as you can see here red green blue you can turn them up and down change the environment lighting you can mess around with the saturation the saturation to get more of color correction and whatnot ground color night color i think if you turn night color forward it gives a cool effect actually it doesn't look much different but yeah mess around with the settings get what you want your scene to look like all of these change different things and will make your environment look different depending on what you want the environment to look like but 
I'm not going to go through all of that right now. I was just giving you a very simple tutorial on how to set up the lighting. So mess around with it as much as you want. Um, I hope this helps anyone who didn't know how to do lighting. And once again, thank you for watching and bye-bye.